What's up? What's up? What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for returning. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So today we're gonna be talking about Black families preparing for Thanksgiving. Mhm. Mm we're gonna be going over a little couple of things since Thanksgiving is coming up. We need to get y'all prepared because you know how our Black families do. Okay. So go ahead and stick around. Stay tuned because you will be in for a laugh. For real. Alright, y'all. The first thing we got to discuss is this Thanksgiving menu. If you notice on this menu, it don't have no time. You know why? Because black people don't never start on time. Black families be like, we're going to start eating at 2. And at 6 o'clock, they say, come on, y'all. Let's let's say the grace. We're waiting on the cornbread. And you're still going to be waiting. So that's why there's no time. Okay. Let's get into this menu. Every black family always have turkey. It could be turkey that you bake in the oven. Or it could be deep fried turkey. There's always going to be turkey everywhere on somebody's table. In a black family for Thanksgiving. All right. Next one, get into the that potato salad, right? Now, if you ain't got no arm, aunt that got them big arms that be cooking that potato salad, you know it ain't hitting. You got to have an auntie with them big arms that be stirring that potato salad up and be, I'm telling you, good. All right? Next thing we're going to get into is that stuffing. That stuffing be gooder than the mo I'm telling you, y'all. All right, next up, we got that baked mac and cheese. Yeah, I'm hungry as right. shit. Don't you come here at no Thanksgiving down gathering and bring no box mac and cheese because we're going to be looking at you like you're crazy. If it ain't bait, we don't want it. Next up, got to have some honey ham. The ham, just add everything to the plate. Got to have a slice of honey baked ham, right? Next up, we got them devil eggs. Them devil eggs ain't devil eggin if it ain't got no paprika up top. So I had to throw y'all a visual in here to make sure y'all understand what I'm saying and how it's supposed to look like this, baby. Next on the list, we got, can I get to the yams? Sweet yams, show me the way. Because I got bills to pay. Man, them yams be so good on Thanksgiving Day. Just Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Next up, we got the fried chicken. Woo. -woo! Man, that fried chicken be hitting, and it got to look like this. All right, y'all, we getting to the bottom of the list. Don't mean them at the bottom is the least favorite because they're definitely not. We got them collard greens, that honey cornbread, and that sweet potato pie. Let me just go ahead and get y'all scraped with these collard greens. Them collard greens needs to be clean. And what I put in my collard greens, because I'm from the country, you could throw you in a ham hock or a turkey leg. Whichever one is going to be good. Now that we done gone over the whole menu, I think everybody ready for Thanksgiving. But before we leave for Thanksgiving, listen at my boy Plies. Some of y'all might want to write this down, because I'm going to give you the calendar and the itinerary for these leftovers. You cooked the food on Wednesday night. Thursday, you ate the food. Friday, that when it was his best. Saturday, you're pushing it. Sunday, ain't no more leftover, bitch. Monday, you're tripping. Tuesday, your ass getting worried if you still eating them leftover. Wednesday, hospital. Thursday, dead. That's just the bottom line for these leftovers. Because some of y'all think you can just eat the leftovers how long you want to eat them. It don't work like that with the leftovers, man. It's an expiration date on them leftover. Keep them for a couple of days and get them out your refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.